Yeah, so yeah, so Private Moyer, uh, you actually are a full-blown veteran of Gettysburg. Now you did two of them. Yeah, do uh, me and uh, Tom get special uh, accommodations for that? I don't know. Well, Tom isn't as quite as special as as you because you actually did all of it. That's right. Outside, hardcore. Well, if enough. I didn't do it. Indoor, Max, you wouldn't have had a place to recuperate yesterday. Just that is true. That. Yes, point taken. So if I didn't have that, you would, Thank not, you. Be, you would and, not be special. Yes. And on that note... Did you meet Regina yesterday? You were the keys. There you go. Did you meet Regina? Yes, I met Regina. Did you take a nice clean shower? I took two of them. Cold. It wasn't a good thing? Just to bring my core temperature down. And the room was nice. The air conditioning was good. I heard that the electricity went off for a while. Yeah, I know. that. I said to myself, geez, but... How Lucky brilliant that would have been. Lucky <laughs> that would have miles. You know what? In that case, I would have just come right back. Uh, did you look like that? Seven yesterday. Mm. Did you catch any of the real news? That was the rumor here. Well, they said the heat index was 107. I think okay. it was in it was in the high 90s. Okay. Yeah, but the misery index was up there to 107. Yeah, we we took off. We didn't hang out. Once uh, the, the dress parade was over. Yeah. We, we uh, amps grade. Came mm -hmm. back for the six o'clock battle. Thanks. Mm -hmm. that, that, that was just too much. Uh, well, and here we have Barbara Spade, who has also earned uh, the title of hardcore. You, you've been out here. Ever, you've been out here for what ten days? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's almost like Twilight Zone. Uh huh. <laughs> back in time things. Now, are you gonna hit a hotel after this? No, actually, we're gonna camp at Gettysburg Campground. Okay, one more time. One more day camp, <laughs> and then back to a regular bed. You missed a good one yesterday. Hello, Captain. How are you? Okay. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Do hello. We, hello. How are you? We were the 67 yesterday on Culp's Hill. We were. Yes, we were. We carried so, our. So what do we do? We carried our colors up on Culp's Hill. Mm -hmm. We fought the battle as the 67th, the entire USVs. And, uh, really? They actually designated the unit as the 67th New York? Oh, damn. First Long Island. And we kicked the snot out of the rims. So when did you find that out? You should have heard my speech. Well, when I heard we were doing Culp's Hill, I went to the Colonel. Mm hmm Colonel Fleece. He says, Colonel, you mind if we carry our colors? We were on Culp's Hill. Oh. He says, absolutely. Cool. Joe Nappy, our color sergeant, carried the colors mm -hmm. along with one of their, one of their men. And uh, we were awesome. You should have heard the volleys. They were impeccable, unbelievable. Good. I gave a good speech to the men prior to starting. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like a, a George Patton speech. Yeah. And everybody was cheering, and uh, it was a sight to behold. Sorry I missed it. And we were in the shade the entire time. Now I'm really sorry I missed it. Yeah, it was uh, still hot. I mean, I got yeah. Back from the battle, looked like I jumped in a swimming pool. Yeah. It, it, you know. It, it was, they were saying, you know, the, the misery index was like over 105 degrees. So it was close to first monastus, kind of what temperatures. Yeah, like King's X, the first battle. Mm -hmm. Some of the fellas went out and fell in with the 148. Mm -hmm. The majority of us stayed behind camp mm -hmm. and hydrated. It was just, I told him, I said, let's sit on King's X. And the doc gave his report and mm -hmm. King's X then says, well, once you go, you're welcome to do it. Uh, but the rest of us are staying in camp. Mm -hmm. But it paid off because the afternoon battle. We would have blown Cope's Hill. I didn't even know what they were doing Cope's Hill. Hmm. Good. So it went well. All right. Great. And uh, the word's out. Joe Nappy is our color sergeant. They're going to utilize him often. Okay. If not forever. All right. Well, what, what, is, uh, what is his position? Uh, Felice. Is he, so is he normally a colonel or is he just yeah, playing a colonel uh, for today? He is the colonel of the 1st Battalion. Colonel of, of the 1st Battalion. Uh, US volunteers. Okay. Colonel Young is the colonel for the 2nd Battalion. And I'm not certain who the colonel is for the 3rd Battalion. No, the 143rd, 143rd was with Colonel Young's Battalion? Colonel Young's Battalion. They're not here. Okay. But, uh, but I'm going to call the captain when we get home and invite him to the Grange. Okay. So we get to know one another being able to fall in. All right. Uh, Colonel Fleece is going to give a good report to Colonel Young about our actions. Oh and the kind of men we are in the field. All right. You know, we can't fight. Hmm. Uh, our volleys, Company K volleys, were better than all the other companies. Hmm. We were on the dime, on the hmm. money. Uh, we are getting applause for our volleys. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it was, uh, well, you know, we, well, we drill, that's why. Yeah. Hmm. 
He had an unfortunate incident yesterday when a cannon blew up. Yeah, no, uh, Chris told me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. metal the people out with a helicopter. Mm. And also, Colonel McBeardy and Robin showed up in camp. You, you, I don't know if you were here on Saturday. Uh, McNearnan? Huh? You're talking about Mark McNe uh, McNearney? No, my, 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 uh, oh, yeah, no, no, I was here. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I, I made it up. Yeah. I made it up here until about uh, about what noonish, one o'clock. Yeah, That's they when. Came uh, back yesterday. Yeah. They're gonna be at Remembrance Day. Mm -hmm. Not with us Saturday dinner, but I'm I'm meeting them Friday night for dinner. Okay. So, otherwise, it was a great great day yesterday. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Great day. <laughs> Over there, that uh, you know, if we have to move it. We should chip in a I wouldn't mind chipping in if we need to buy a pan. Yeah, bigger pan. That's what we have a treasury for. Okay, then we'll use a treasury, but I've seen some nice big pans around here. A big pan. I did it for the first time ever. For the Battle of Culp's Hill. You like it? Was, oh, it was great. Yep, yep. Pete? Yep, thumbs up. All right. Will? Good. Mike? Mm -hmm. What? I wish this was a beer. Okay, you wish it was a beer, okay. <laughs> Officer Battle last night. Ah, well, this is your first time. How'd you like it? Uh, a lot bigger than any Red War battle I've ever been in, let's just say that. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot more cannon fire, a lot more muskets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was, that was really cool. <laughs> And what was that? Uh, that's my version of uh, Jefferson and Liberty. Okay. You want another? <laughs> Encore! Okay. Uh, uh, I, I've been doing the, uh, uh, the girl I left behind me. I could do that pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Well done.